welcome to another video today i'm going to show you guys how to add colors and fonts to the character i have drawn and showed you in the previous video if you want to see that it's in the box down below and yeah you can click on that watch that i'm going to use cupix and a lot of you know pencil colors now i'm going to start off with this peach skin colored pencil color and gonna you know highlight some spots down his forehead between his you know hair strands at the ends of it so it adds a really nice contour for his eyes I'm gonna go down his chin his nose and you know add some little dark spots when you see a face so it looks a bit you know like you can give prominent features of any character's face so you have to be really careful on that I'm gonna go his neckline and yeah that's how i finish it now i really gonna use is this um, brush and gonna put some water in it and place it on, on the face because when i apply cupics here on just i have to just concentrate on a single place and it's gonna spread everywhere making it equal and for this step you have to make your painting go dry or it will look horrible now let's make the water go dry and I'm gonna take a nice golden color, pencil color and I'm gonna add a little bit of font to his hair and we're gonna start off with the lower strides and I'm gonna go up because I'm gonna give that shine to this character most people say as if <laughs> you put some gel in them but now it's like a little trick to add like a natural shine to your paintings and a lot of texture to it. Now you see I've almost covered like the center of the piece of the hair is a bit light while the next goes a little bit dark. I'm gonna take is a dark um, color of yellow or you can also take is gold. Gold is like a little dark amber shade to your you know gold or yellow mixture between them. So we're gonna add that now I hope the water like soaks a bit so I can add the copy colors so this is how your hair should look like and then I'm gonna go with the metallic gold and I'm gonna just make some prominent strands to them so yeah it looks good now I'm gonna take is a blue color and it's a bit of a sky blue. I'm gonna add a little dots and the darker boundaries of his eyes. Now, when you're making cute characters like I do, uh, which mostly people say is a kiwi, you're gonna make a darker pupil and you're gonna add the baselines of the eyes and make where the shine of the eyes come. Where you know, in the last video you've seen that, putting the gap between them, then you're gonna make them darker so they make arise it a lot and gives a like nice you know glimmer to it now i'm gonna take the same color to you know highlight a little of his v-neck now you see i've matched eyes of his sweater and yeah it looks pretty good like that now the shirt collar will also have the same color but the shirt itself will be having a little bit of a white contour when it's like being a little shade it to the side a little bit you know creases to it will give a light blue just like that now you see I firstly use um, the pencil colors then after that I use a lot of Copic markers to it that really you know I think it's a lot more stabilizes the whole thing I've tried using um, Copic markers before I use the pencil colors and that kind of messes up your whole drawing but I will try it I will take the challenge because most of people are saying to use it that way so I might make a video on that too as well now I'm gonna take a dark blue contour to add a little creases on his sweater the v-neck sweater and yeah and we're gonna add a little bit more of the contour to his eyes now I'm going to start off with the Copic markers and stabilize some of the pencil colors and some of um, the light shades I've used to in a single, you know, linear cont to it. So it looks quite, you know, as if it's mixing each other 
it's not like there are like different colors used in it and it doesn't look you know real but copying markers like help you in that mixing up and I'm gonna use a light one to add a little font to his cheeks and I'm gonna use a light pink one to add a little contour to his cheeks as well now we're gonna just set it off to dry so it looks good by the end of the whole thing as you've seen in the beginning of the video and we're just gonna add some nice shades and tones to it as well with the pencil color again so you know I'm making the side pose so the side pose should have a little bit of a bending towards the left side and it goes darker and you know lighter at the other now we're gonna add some prominent creases with the dark um, copic color the dark blue color and yeah it's kind of a I'm also gonna use warm gray for the colors and everything now what I'm gonna do is take um, a dark marker to it same as the warm gray what I'm gonna do is add a little creases here and on the shoulders because it gives a real prominency on the character's body and how his color shades are working all the way through. Now for the light blue shirt we're gonna take is light blue Copic marker and we're just gonna put some more light creases. I'm gonna put some light portion on his eyes and make it prominent. Lastly, we are gonna, you know, highlight my name on it and yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. This is the whole tutorial. Thank you so much. If you guys want to know the old video, it's in my description box. As I have told you guys earlier, please let me know your thoughts. Thank you.